My lab's really focused on understanding causes and treatments for autism and intellectual disability, so childhood brain disorders. So autism is a really devastating disorder, but it's a very specific disorder. So at the core of autism are deficits in social interaction and social communication. And that's what makes it so hard for individuals and families when they're dealing with autism to um, adapt to the challenges because really we're just very, very social as humans and to have a deficit in that can be very difficult over the lifespan for an individual. So one of the big challenges with autism, um, as you can imagine, is that uh, we don't have effective treatments. And part of the problem for why we don't have effective treatments is that autism is fundamentally a very heterogeneous disorder. To date, there's been about, uh, uh, about 200 uh, plus autism risk genes that have been identified in the literature, but uh, uh, we know very, very little about what those genes actually do as the brain develops. So basically, in a subset of individuals with autism, the brain grows faster earlier. In some cases, it plateaus. In some cases, it keeps growing through adolescence. But that actually has proven to be kind of a, a relatively simple measure. So uh, when a child goes into a pediatrician's office, um, they'll get measured for head circumference routinely. And um, these kind of uh, changes from the normal pattern of growth show up pretty reliably in this subset of kids with autism. So within that group, um, there's a number of uh, genes that have been identified. And it kind of brings that number of genes down from hundreds to the order of 10 tens of genes uh, that have been identified that are associated with this subgroup. And uh, one of the genes in that subgroup is a gene called P10. And that's what my lab has done a lot of, a lot of work on. My lab has been looking into the cellular events that actually drive the overgrowth of the brain early on. And we found that it turns out to be a very complex and dynamic process where early, uh, when in utero, there's an excessive production of neurons in the brain. And those neurons, these are really kind of the key cells that are responsible for communication across brain area, for cross brain areas, for processing information about the world. And those neurons, even though they're present at birth, if we look at adult animals, they're no longer, the excess neurons are no longer there. So we have excess neurons at birth that cor corresponds to a larger brain. But even though the brain is larger in adults, this, the number of neurons is virtually identical to a normal mouse. And so what we find is that it's an excess of glia. So glia are the support cells of the brain. So these cells are really important for insulating, for example, long distance fibers that send uh, information across the brain. They're responsible for cleaning up uh, cellular debris in the brain. And uh, they're also um, responsible for uh, buffering at the synapse. And so we have an uh, overabundance of glia uh, in, our, in our mouse model for all of these different glial types. So we can uh, suppress the overproduction of glia by treating the animals with a uh, exogenous form of P10. And what that means is we can take a, a form of P10 that is naturally produced uh, in the body and purify that and add that to the culture and then rescue the proliferation of glia. This is potentially a way to rescue the overgrowth of the brain that happens during, during development. So that key anatomical abnormality that's happening in P10 patients, this is a way of rescuing that uh, overgrowth of the, of the brain potentially. So we found that if we give the drug at the right time during development, we're actually capable of preventing that abnormal wiring from happening in the first place. We're also capable of uh, preventing the abnormal social behavioral from developing in this model. And this gives us a lot of hope that we can target a very specific drug for um, autism and you know, basically individualized therapy. 